Well, we have some breaking news to share with you here at the Weather Channel. We can now report that three of the nine people who died in Friday's tornadoes in El Reno, Oklahoma, were storm chasers. Really, they were storm researchers committed to teaching us more about storms, trying to improve the warning lead time that we all get to keep us safe. It's with great sadness that the Weather Channel learned of the passing of Tim and Paul Samaras and Carl Young as a result of the El Reno tornado. Many of us were fortunate to have worked with them and have great admiration for their work. They went in the field focused on collecting data to enable meteorologists to further the science behind tornadoes, which we know has and will help to save countless lives. Our community has suffered a terrible loss and our thoughts and prayers are with their loved ones. Well, weather is a very tight community and joining me right now is severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes, who knew Tim in particular very well. And uh, Dr. Forbes, I know it's supposed to be tough to talk about today, but Tim was the cream of the crop when it came to researchers. Yeah, I'm terribly saddened. I'm, my condolences to his family. I knew Tim very well and he was a pioneer in terms of taking scientific measurements. Now, and we can do things with Doppler radar, but you're getting measurements there tens to hundreds of feet above the ground. We need to know what happens right down at ground level and Tim pioneered the development of pods, portable systems that would uh, he would get out in his van, grab these things, put them out in the way of the tornado, and then get out of the way. They would record the data, and then afterwards he would go in and collect those. So pressures, mm -hmm. uh, winds, measurements, he got that many times. People think the movie Twister, he was doing what you saw in yeah. the movie Twister. Uh, he, he was doing exactly that. He had a, a version that had video cameras in it that could look up in different directions inside the tornado so you could see what happened there that we don't typically know. And most recently, he had developed an extremely high speed video system that could measure lightning with better resolution than we had ever looked at before. So he was a groundbreaker in terms of the kind of scientific research that he was doing on tornadoes and severe thunderstorms. It's, it, a, it's a tremendous loss to the community. It absolutely is. And you think, you know, chasing tornadoes is not necessarily a safe activity, but if there was one of the safest people on the road, Tim was it. Yeah, he and Roger Hill organized a, a chaser convention, ChaserCon, each year out in Denver that talked about storms and uh, many chasers. The last time it was more than 300 for the, each of the past several years there. They've been doing this now 15 years and always involved in that lately had been sessions about chaser safety and even uh, medical treatment, uh, special sessions. And so uh, he was involved in trying to make people better chasers, educating and research. That was his life. And obviously, Dr. Forbes, you're very close with the whole community in terms of severe weather. And how do you think a lot of folks are feeling today with this news? Tim was such a father to so many. Yeah, some of the other chasers uh, lined up uh, up in the Dakotas and, and had a TS in their uh, GPS markers in honor of him. It, it's certainly everyone in the, in the scientific and research and meteorological and engineering and chasing communities is, is terribly saddened and very stunned by the, by the loss of one of our own. Could you ever imagine that something like this would happen? I mean, we never hear storm chasers or researchers getting killed in a tornado. As far as I know, this is the first time this has happened. Well, it's, it's uh, something that hopefully people will come to realize that uh, being out there in the vicinity of these violent storms is something that is associated with, with risk. Um, for the most part, people have been able to get out of the way, but once in a while, uh, if it gets big enough and you don't have enough opportunities road-wise to get out of there, uh, you could get overtaken by, by tornadoes. Uh, uh, and unfortunately, that's, that has happened this time. People need to know that this is a dangerous profession or occupation. Dr. Greg Forbes, you know, thanks for talking for us. I know he's a good friend and a difficult day for a lot in the weather community. Tim Samaras, his son Paul and Carl Young all killed in that storm in Oklahoma on Friday. Uh, Tim a chaser for almost 30 years. His son Paul, as you can see in that picture, fun loving guy and also a great photographer taking severe weather photography out there in the field. Carl Young paired up with Tim back in 2003. They've been chasing ever since. Uh, you might recognize all those faces. They were on the storm or the uh, show Storm Chasers on Discovery Channel.